Hey guys, it's kind of bad here. And today I have an admittedly boring white background because I'm going to be doing a bit of a review and I need lots of space. So in the very beginning of 2017, I made this video talking about how I feel about the uh, new brushables. If I remember correctly, my main points were that uh, the toy felt cheap, like the hair was bad, the legs were thin, and it fell over a lot. And also that because she had a very wide smiley expression, uh, the pony itself wasn't good for making videos with, because she's got a fixed expression so she can't be emotive. Her hair colour is exactly the same, though it is of a significantly lesser quality. Look at his rattiness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you see what I mean? I did talk about some other things though, so the video will be up in the card if you want to check it out. I would recommend, um, I guess it's it's pretty concise and I had a lot of fun making it. Today I actually have another new pony to review that I got for Christmas. However, this new pony is a male pony uh, and also a bit later down the line. So I feel like Hasbro had a little bit of time to revise their original designs. I realized that some of my opinions weren't entirely relevant to every toy because even though I think basically all of the ponies have fixed smiles, they don't all have open mouths. And likewise, even though they all have thin legs and cheap hair, some of the later ponies have all their legs on the ground, which makes them more stable. Anyway, what I'm basically getting at is I'm going to be unboxing uh, this figure and we're also going to be looking at the old figure that I have and maybe I will look more into these new ponies in the future. This guy is Soren. Out of the box he stands a lot taller than a normal pony and I'm not sure about the reboots. Yeah, Jesus, he's very tall. Okay. I wonder how he is against shiny armor. Jesus, he hardly squares up to shining, bro. I mean the hair adds some length, but still, Jesus. To be honest, I don't think I love him. Okay, he does have a slightly thicker legs, but you can still look at the back and see that crazy thigh gap. Also, I'll be honest, I don't really like the face and picture on the side of the pony. I think it looks alright as a figure, but like, as a, as a, I don't know, pony tuber, filmmaker maybe, I definitely don't like it. It is nice that they've given him, like, real hair rather than just, you know, the, the weird, like, candy floss stuff that they gave Shining. But then this also does make it really hard to style. <laughs> what, what, what do you do with this? Just toilet brush head, man. Um, something that is kind of cool is that you can pose his- Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh god, if you pull them down they just come out, no! So what they did, right, is they made the wings poseable, but if you- if you pull them down they just pop out, that's kind of annoying. I, I'm, I'm not gonna hate, I like that you can pose the wings. And I probably will use this, but I feel like I want to sand down his face because it's so weirdly oblong, but the poseable wings, definitely cool. So if it was me, um, and I think I probably will do this if I ever get the time, is I'm gonna remove this stuff and just stick with the one cutie mark. Anyway, I'd probably cut all his hair down and just sand his face and repaint the eyes, because again, you've got that smile and that expression which makes him really difficult to film with, so I feel like I'd want to like try and reshape his face with the, with the nail file. Uh, the poseable wings are super cool and I really wish that we, we got to have them with the old brushables. It's definitely a lot more stable than this rarity here because, god, she's like really intent on falling over like just the slightest push will send her tumbling. But but Soren here is, you know, he's stable because he's got all his legs on the ground, which is good. Same thing, like Rarity has such an ex intense expression, but Soren's pretty chill, so a bit better on that regard. Obviously the difference in style makes him sort of incompatible with normal ponies, but I feel like um I actually Oh, wait a minute. Oh shoot, I just got a really cool idea. Huh. You know, now that I think of it, if you painted him and tried to make his eyes look more consistent, and you could shape up his head differently or not, I bet he'd make a really good, like, pony that was really big. Because you take a normal one, and he's so much larger and taller, he almost looks like a thug. Because the thing is, if hypothetically you wanted to make a pony series that was set 
in a crime-filled, gangsterish kind of a city. Hypothetically, not saying that I'm doing that, just saying if you were. And if maybe in that series, you know, you needed to have some large, kind of muscly, thuggish characters for, for whatever reason, or maybe even like a fantasy setting, or if you needed a large um, uh, uh, figure that was that was built and you could repaint him so that he didn't look like a freaking idiot, I'd say that this would be a pretty good option for you. Strange, because I, again, not that I would do that, not that I even need that, because obviously, you know, I'm not making a series that's <laughs> a crime-filled gangster world, but now, now that I am pondering it, actually, that's a pretty damn good idea. Uh, anyway, back to the review. So ultimately, I still have some issues with the design, but I would say that if you miss buying old ponies or you want to add to your collection, I don't think Soren's such a bad idea. I think Soren's probably one of the only characters that you could, with a bit of effort, integrate into a um, like into a film cast made entirely of the old style brushables. Just my opinion. I think it's cool that um, he has this, this large mold and again, I'll say it one more time, the wings are pretty cool. And I mean, it's also kind of cool you can take them out because again, hypothetically, if you wanted to make a thuggish character and you didn't want the thug to have wings, or it would be easy just to maybe even make one character look like multiple characters if you only had one and if you wanted to have multiple thugs on different in different episodes of your series, then you could, you know, you could add the wings or like add a different outfits and you would make them look a bit different. Not saying that I would do that, just saying if you were going to, I don't know, just putting it out there. Anyway, my, my final thoughts, and I go a bit more in depth, uh, my first video about Reboot Ponies, but my final thoughts here are that I still don't love the Reboot Ponies and he still has a lot of the issues that the original did, with the, you know, the weird legs and the weird design and the really weird head shape, but ultimately, I think he really could be useful um, if you put the effort in. So, not entirely a useless addition to the reboot line, I think. Oh, also he came with a lime green translucent comb. Just kind of dumb, because like, what? It... Sorin, I love to brush your hair. Really did not need another comb, but um, well, I have one now, so cool. Anyway, that just about does it for this video. Um, if you liked it, maybe consider actually leaving a like. You don't, you don't have to, obviously, but it's it's pretty handy. If you want to see more content like this, then maybe consider subscribing. Um, I've got a bunch of videos that I'm going to upload in the next couple weeks. So yeah, cool. And I may as well plug, I've got an art contest going on at the moment, so if you want to win some cool stuff and enter an art contest, then uh, link in the card up there. Alright, talk to you later. Bye!